Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's DJ Show on King of Legend coming at you again. All right, so we're gonna get into a little serious topic. All right, um, let's talk about the DBX drive rack or just drive racks in general. All right, so this one is the DBX drive rack 260. All right, 260 meaning uh, two inputs and we got six outputs all right so let's talk some serious situations here all right so this can be one of the great things on your system or one of the worst things on your system all right so what i mean by that is if you don't know how to use this piece of equipment it can make your system play like crap all right and this is probably like the second most important thing on your system besides your controller, turntables or whatever the case may be that's actually uh, sending the signal. All right, so you gotta know what you're doing with this uh, drive rack. All right, so my first advice is to have two presets, all right? So as you can see, that's my number two user preset, right? I also have another one. So just in case something messes up by accident, you can hit that second preset and um, you're back up and running, all right? As if uh, you never touched anything or any glitches or whatever the case may be, or if someone try to sabotage your system, which a lot of goes on. I mean, um, if you are playing good at home or wherever you're testing your system and it is playing good and suddenly you go out and your system sounds like crap and you're wondering what the hell happened between that time. Nine times out of ten someone got into it and uh, they touched something that they shouldn't have. And especially if they hit that little button right there that says store. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom right there. All right second to the right on the bottom next to rta says store okay <clears throat> if they hit that button that will configure your preset that will store whatever was done at that moment into your preset so now whatever's been touched or messed up will actually be in it and you might not know all right but your preset will still be there all right so you got to make sure that you have at least a second backup. So that way, if you uh, send something fishy, something's not right, you can go to your number two option where you have set it and you know everything is pretty much uh, okay and you can adjust accordingly. But at least you know that you have a, another preset that will, um, that will do the job because it takes a little while to set this thing up. So it's not a okay everything is erased and i can set it back in five minutes no it takes it takes a little while to adjust everything and you know configure because you know it's like messing with the cell phone times 10 all right because um it's a lot of buttons so um what have i deleted uh actually what feature have i stopped using on the drive rack okay i have stopped using the compressor the limiter and the peak stop okay I mean um, I have a DBX um, compressor limiter gate which is an external device um, I feel it is better to have this separate than using the one that's inside of this because you can't see what's going on inside of this drive rack when that compressor is um, compressing and when it's uh, limiting, all right? What I mean by limiting, you can set a peak limit to where you can play the system and it won't go above a certain level, right? It will kind of hold back the system, right? And um, that you really don't want to happen in certain situations. You might have it set, but for another venue, you might need it to go a little bit louder. You understand what I'm saying? So now you're trapped. And you have to go in there and you have to reset that all right you have to configure it and um, do whatever the case may be okay within two seconds I can set it on the external 
compressor limited gate, all right? Not even two seconds, all right? I can just see where everything is at and I can touch and go and I know exactly what's going on. So uh, some things are better, you know, kept external versus um, being on the internal. You know, this is a nice setup that DBX did with the drive rack. You know, they put so many different pieces of equipment inside of this one unit. Well, my thing is you can never have one unit that can do a better job than five separate pieces of equipment, all right? There's no way. I mean, technology is great, but there, there's no way. I mean, a radio with the CD player and the tape deck I mean, nine times out of 10, one of those items always go bad, all right? You remember the VCRs with the with the DVD player? There's always one of those two items that always go bad or not work perfectly, all right? So that's my take on that, all right? I always feel like, you know, you have to have um, sometimes separate pieces of equipment to take care of certain things, all right? Because uh, think about it, you got EQ, you got compressor, you have crossover, you have a, so, a sub harmonic synthesizer. I mean, you have, I mean, delay, you have, um, I mean, it's so much, all right? It's so many, so many presets for different types of speaker setups and whatever the case may be. I think this is perfect for guys running powered systems, you know, you understand? But for the sound system guy, I don't think this was 100% meant for us but we've grabbed it and we've embraced it and we've used it. And, and I mean, it's working, but I mean, I don't think it was meant for us 100%. Now for the guys who are touring and doing concerts and all that stuff, and they have like 200 cabinets, I would say this was perfect for them also because they can actually, you know, dial in and, you know, configure everything by the laptop and so forth you know control things from a distance um for us i think you know separate pieces of equipment is a little bit better but you know like monkey see monkey do i mean you know i mean the masses have it i mean you feel as if you need it i mean furthermore i mean nobody wants to dial crossovers anymore with the knobs i mean they just feel like if you have that on your system your system is antique so you need a digital screen to look as if you're updated, you know, somewhat, whatever the case may be. But it's not 100% the best thing. I mean, one day you ought to just try using a regular crossover and see how your system really plays. All right. Without all this digital stuff. Well, anyway, um, another thing that I've stopped using is the, uh, the sub harmonic synthesizer also. All right. So... Um, being that I have the Afix, um, you know, the big bottom, uh, I don't think I need to use that. Um, to me, it really doesn't make it any much difference with that, uh, feature. Uh, so I've turned that off also. All right. I'm going to show you here. All right. So as you can see, that's the compressor. Uh, you hit dynamic right here and that comes up. Okay. So. That's the compressor, my limiter is off, all that stuff, everything is off. All right, so I'm keeping all that stuff off. All right, it's just uh, peak stop. Oh, oh here's, an, here's what I was talking about right here. This is peak stop. If someone comes in here and turns this thing on, okay, and sets it, you are like, SOL, all right, see, I'm putting it off right here, all right, so, because what it will do is it will hold on to the sound system to where you can't get it above a certain level, all right, that's what it will do, all right, so it will, it will, it will mess your whole night up, you'll be wondering why you can't get um, to a certain level or playing as you was. All right, so you wanna make sure that these are set when things are going wrong and not sounding right. Nine times out of 10, you know, you have uh, something going on there. All right, so um, just double check, make sure everything is uh, is off or set properly when uh, your system is acting crazy. Nine times out of 10, someone set that wrong. 
and you're wondering why your bass is being held back or you know your mid sound uh, choked up because you have way too much compression turned up or something like that um, you know just uh, just double check those uh, those features understand so um, yeah that's my rant on the drive rack. I mean, but otherwise, it's a great piece of item for crossover use. I'll be using an EQ, but anything else, I'll be using the external equipment. Um, it's too much of a headache and too much of a worry to worry if it's doing all the things that you want it to do right, okay? Because like I've said, I've never seen a piece of equipment with a lot of features that all of them work perfectly. All right, because sometimes these electronic things just start doing whatever they want to do and you have no idea what's going on in the background. All right. So uh, it's DJ Show One King Legend. I'm out till the next one. All right.